to do, uh, I, I bet, you know, got right on the, on the boat to go do uh, Incubus in uh, Rhode Island. So I haven't caught it yet. And now it's, it's not even in theaters in Rhode Island, so I'm going to have to wait and probably, you know, see it on DVD or, you know, in a hotel room. Hopefully they don't have a nice big flat screen. Uh, so that's why I'm not in the new Nightmare on Elm Street. I wish them well, and I'm, I'm curious to see it. You know, I like Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown is uh, uh, one of my favorite character actors. I do some voiceover cartoon work with him, and uh, I think Connie Britton is kind of an inspired choice, you know, for the moms. But I, I yeah, and a couple of the other actors I've worked with, uh, Galen uh, played my son in a movie called Red, with Brian Cox, the original Hannibal Lecter, and uh, I, I also like the young actor. Help me with his name from uh, uh, Terminator, Sarah Connor Chronicles. Thomas Decker. I think he's a, a real interesting guy, and so I, I, you know, I'm curious. I, I want to see it. I, I have no ill will because when you're raised in Hollywood like I was, and uh, you realize that everything gets remade sooner or later. You know, I think they're remaking Straw Dogs. You know, the, the Peck, great Peck and Pop film. They're remaking everything. There's only so many great stories to tell, you guys. There's only so many stories, and they evolve and they change and they get added to it and, and they're adjusted but there's you know the cavemen were sitting around the campfire you know probably talking about sex in the city or something <laughs> crazy but there's only that's so they keep making them you know there's only so many stories you know, guy meets girl blah 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 the guy kills girl you know. uh, so there's only so many stories we have to tell and when fans especially vibrant fans of horror science fiction and fantasy that are finally being acknowledged this last decade. Uh, when, when fans find a character or a story that they like, you can't not expect Hollywood to remake it because Hollywood does make wonderful films that fall through the cracks and people don't see it. And uh, I've experienced being in films like that. Uh, people that take care of me uh, have had films like that that finally get discovered by my business manager made a film years ago called Suicide Scene. Things. Great little film. But it took years for it to be discovered on DVD and on cable, and finally now it's on a box set with a Tarantino film and getting the recognition it's due. But this happens. So when we remake films, and you know, I'm not the guy to complain, uh, I think one of my biggest paychecks ever was a remake of Phantom of the Opera. Uh, and I was in I was in a real good company, you know, the River Long, Claude Rains, obviously Don Cheney. I think Maximilian Shell did one. So I was a real good company, and uh, so I, I, I participated in remakes. I, it was the Barbara Streisand remake. Uh, I wonder what it's for. No digital projection. Hi, Jim.
Toward the end of the filming process, there got to be a lot of cooks in the kitchen. And um, Beekler's vision the whole time through was, you know, very detailed and very No, that's mine. 